So Oxford City through to the first round of the FA Cup for the third year in a row. Joining me today isn't Mark Jones, it's his assistant manager Andy Ballard. Uh, Andy, that second half, particularly after being 2 up, it was uh, all hands to the pump, but you did enough to hold on for the victory. Yeah, it certainly was. We, we defended really, really well in the second half. It's not the way we wanted to play the second half. I mean, we started the game really well, and in recent weeks, that's not what we've been doing. So we were really pleased with the first half performance, got ourselves into the lead, um, and then second half, they've obviously upped their game, um, got a bit of a, a telling off with their manager at half-time, come out and really went for it. We didn't impose ourselves, unfortunately, in the second half the way we wanted to, um, but we, we ground out the result and we're really happy to be in the next round. That's the key point there, isn't it? The performance at this level, at this stage of the competition. Yes, you want to put on a, a fantastic performance for your supporters, but the, the key thing is getting through to the first round, getting in that draw and hopefully drawing a plum tie. That's it. It's all about winning. It's, it's all about winning. From from start of the game, if they had said to us at the start, we'd have won the game 2-1, well, we'd have taken it. So, yeah, it's important to get into the, second, uh, the, round, sorry, the first round of the Cup, um, especially for the club. I mean, the club obviously need the finances. And for the players in there, they deserve that, that good away draw um, to a bigger club. And, yeah, we, we were really pleased with the performance today. A word about Margate, that they came here with a game plan, first half uh, you were probably on top, deservedly led 2-0, the second half though they, they belied where they were, they, they were the better side it has to be said and, uh, and you were hanging on, albeit you had a couple of half chances, Craig Fasson made probably should have scored that uh, goal with one on one. Yeah, they, they were a direct side, um, they put balls into good areas and made, made us defend and we had to be at the top of our game especially in the second half and they're, they're playing well in their league, they're at the mid-table and once you get sort of a foothold in the game, which they did in the second half, it makes it very difficult to then turn it around and try and get, get yourselves back in the game. And obviously Fast was in there um, with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity and if he takes that, then it sort of puts the game to bed. So, yeah, I mean, we're really pleased with the performance in the first half and, and ultimately the result at the end of the game. Uh, looking ahead, we can now to the first round. Uh, I guess uh, we ask this every year, who would you like? A, a home tie, I guess, against anybody, but ideally uh, a home tie against a league side and uh, maybe a television game. Um, well, I think we're looking for the bye draw to get ourselves into the second round because there's one team that won't get a fixture. So we'll take that now, if you like. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're looking for a big club. It'd be fantastic for, for the club um, as a whole. Um, get as many supporters down here as possible. And obviously that increases the gate money and, and finances for the club. Andy, you've played for Oxford City in the uh, FA Cup competition proper before and lost a game narrowly uh, a few years back now. I don't want to say how many years, but uh, it's really important for, for these young players to put themselves on the national stage. And, and the league form hasn't been great but you can put that uh, to one side and, uh, and hopefully a performance uh, like this in the second half with your back to the wall will hopefully stand you in good stead not only for the cup but also for your league which uh, needs picking up Yeah, I mean a big game against a league football side will, will be really good for everybody at the club especially I mean the, the young boys that might not have faced those types of opposition before it, it shows what you can, can achieve in the game and um, in terms of our league form though we know it's not great um, but hopefully we can use this as a platform to Sort of kick ourselves on in the league now. Now, two years ago, that's exactly what happened. I think City were in a very similar position, second from bottom, went to Colchester, nobody gave you a prayer, uh, won the game 1 0, and that really did kickstart your season. And that's important, isn't it? Because as much as the glory of the FA Cup is wonderful, league is your bread and butter, bread and butter, and you do need to get out of the position you're in. We certainly do, yeah. We, we all know that we're, we're not where we want to be in the league. We know, we know that we haven't started the league, this league season particularly well. But we're playing good football at times, we're just not getting the rub of the green, we're not sticking the ball in the net when the chances are there and, and hopefully the next game in the FA Cup can then kick us on in the league. Obviously we've got a, an important game against Slough next Saturday which, um, which people will need to be playing well in because if you want to play in that first round game you've got to be playing well in the league games. Uh, just a word about uh, the main man, Mark. He, uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's very passionate. Uh, this was pre-planned. We're going to say that uh, you were going to talk to us today. Mark Jones must have gone through all the emotions in the world in that second half. We know what he's like, and uh, he's really passionate about this club, and he wants the club to succeed, doesn't he? He certainly does. He's a winner. He's a player that's played the game that is now a manager and he is a winner. So everyone goes through emotions on the sidelines and, and it is hard to keep tabs on those at times. But we're on the side there trying to wield a team to win as much as the team are trying to win the game themselves. So, um, but for us as a management team, it's fantastic to get ourselves into the, to the FA Cup first round proper. Um, and as I said, it, we just need to turn that into our league form. Andy, thank you very much. Uh, as you said, the performance didn't really matter. It was the win that counted. You're in the first round proper for the third year in a row. The first time that's ever happened with Oxford City to get there three years in a row. Congratulations. Uh, enjoy the evening. And in two weeks' time, three weeks' time, we'll be looking forward to a first round. Thank you very much. Cheers.